Have you fantasized leaving your 9 to 5 job? I get it, what's there not to like? You can sleep in whenever you like, work remotely from a beach and now truly follow your passion. It's feeling like the ultimate escape. And yet the reality for many of us looks very different. We find ourselves in a cycle of planning and dreaming and maybe even taking the leap and leaving a job, but after a while finding ourselves right back where we started. Same unfulfilling routine, same doubts. And you start to wonder, why didn't it turn out the way I imagined? Hi there, my name is Kai. I'm a former finance executive turned airline pilot and now content creator. And I spent 20 years in the corporate world basically doing a 9 to 5 job where at the end of it I was craving something different. And when I quit my 9 to 5 job, I wish I knew some of the things that I realize now. Because the hardest part wasn't walking away from the job or even adjusting to the new lifestyle. The hardest part was breaking free from the mindset that had been keeping me trapped. In today's video you can take advantage of that 20 years of knowledge. I also spent another full month researching the topic to share with you five limiting beliefs that kept me stuck and that might hold you back from the freedom you crave. And when you master those mindset shifts, it doesn't just affect your career, it can transform your entire life, whether you leave your 9 to 5 or not. Number one. This one is very natural when we work in a 9 to 5 job. There's an expectation of your employer that you show up for work, whether that's at home or in the office. And so what we experience is that we spend a certain amount of time and et voila, at the end of the week or the end of the month, we receive a paycheck. But it isn't quite as simple as that, is it? Let's say you are a shop assistant. Think about it. It's not that you're paid for just standing around. People have an expectation that you are friendly, that you are knowledgeable about the shop that you're in and that you are helpful. So it's not time that equals money, it's the value that you provide that equals money. And that's a mindset shift that is very hard when you leave a 9 to 5. Very often I hear, hey, I put in so much work and effort into what I do, where is my reward? But effort isn't the currency here, it's value. So here's your takeaway, even if you're still working in a 9 to 5 job, focus on the value that you can provide and the area where you can provide most value. Not only will you stand out, but you will also prepare yourself for a lot more freedom down the line. And now that I've showed you my paycheck, there is a second limiting belief that comes with it that also seems very natural. We all need money to live our lives. We to buy food and provide shelter and bigger shelter and better shelter and really fancy shelter and of course the love of our life. Okay, I got a little bit carried away here, but you get me, right? It's very easy to see how putting in the work and getting a paycheck at the end of the month gives us security. We can go to bed and sleep and know at the end of the month the money comes in until it doesn't. The higher up a corporate ladder you go, the less true this security is. And if a company struggles, the easiest thing to cut is you. Unless you offer something that no one else can. So don't rely on a paycheck for security. Rely on the unique value that you have to offer. And this search for the thing that you can do and no one else can, that journey you can start now, whether you're still working in your 9 to 5 or planning your escape. Now at this stage, there may be a nagging feeling. You may say, this is all well and good, but I'm just not that passionate about what I do in my 9 to 5. If I was truly free, if I had the freedom to do whatever I want, then I would be fulfilled and then it's very easy to provide value. Freedom is great, I won't lie. Bali gives me a lot of happiness. I can get up when I want, I can exercise when I want, I work wherever I want, and if I don't want to work, I go down to the beach. 
So I have to ask myself the question, does that leave me fulfilled? And the answer is, no, it doesn't. It brings me, that freedom brings me a lot of happiness, sure, but it can also be very isolating. The thing I miss most about my 9 to 5 job, that connection with others, with the team. The feeling of contributing to be part of a bigger team. It's not freedom that equals fulfillment, it's contribution. The more I contributed to my team, my company, my work, the more fulfilled and ultimately free I felt. And that is a mindset that you can shift right now. But what if you still feel that you are not passionate about what you do in your 9-to-5 job? Well, in that case, you may think that passion equals success. I'm passionate about Formula One. I watch every race, usually I watch it live, no matter what time of day it is. I read the news, sometimes I play Formula One on my computer. I know a lot. And you may be really surprised to hear this, but I'm not a very successful Formula One driver. To have success, we need more than passion, otherwise it's called a hobby. So before you think I have to leave my 9 to 5 for my passion, think first which of your passions can actually make you successful. I personally look towards the Ikigai model, I've done a video on that a uh, couple of years ago I think, but ultimately it's about looking at the intersection of the things that you love, the things you are good at, what the world needs or where demand is, and what you can be paid for. Now, there is one final belief that we could get wrong. And if we do, then it leads us right back into this hamster wheel of our corporate grind. Remember when we fantasized about sleeping in and working from the beach and planning our ultimate escape? We feel that escaping the nine to five red race means that we completely start a new chapter in our life. One that has great work-life balance. Walking away from a 9 to 5 and starting our own business can certainly improve your work-life balance. But it could also have the very opposite effect. As a business owner, you very easily feel that you have to be productive every hour of the day. And even though you may now follow your passion, it's not sustainable. In fact, you will likely do exactly what you've done in your work before. So for most people, the new work-life balance looks exactly like the old one. And that gives us a strong hint to what to do. Start defining your work-life balance now. Be honest with yourself what truly matters to you. Is it money and success or family or free time? The trade-offs will come, but if you've set your priorities right, it'll help you stay balanced and grounded. So. Maybe true freedom isn't about the escape after all. Maybe it's about shifting those mindsets and bringing them in alignment with what truly matters to you. And whether you leave your 9 to 5 or not, you'll find the freedom that you're seeking. But all of this is only half the battle. There's a whole new world in the 21st century to navigate. In order to prepare for that, watch this video here. Until next time, take care.